Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Myers here. I am ready to teach you a new workplace game today. So this involves dominoes. And here is the thing, it would be awesome if you had someone at your house that you could play this with. So if you're able to play with a mom or a dad or a babysitter or even a brother or sister, this game might be a little more fun. But you can play it by yourself and you're gonna see Mrs. Myers right now play it by herself so you'll know how to do that if you need to okay so I'm going to teach you how to play the game so boys and girls you are going to simply when it's your turn click on this word pick and you are going to get a um, domino okay so this was my pick here, okay? So my job, because this is mine, is I have to know the total amount of this domino, okay? So I know that this is 11. Now, if you're playing with a partner, it would be your partner's turn to pick one, okay? And this was your partner. So let's say this is your mom, okay? She got four plus four, and we know that's eight. So her job is to know how many she has as well. Okay, so you don't tell her how many she has and you aren't and she isn't telling you how many you have. Okay, so the person that has the greatest number, and we need to know what greatest means. We know greatest means the biggest number. They're going to say that their number is greater than the other person's and they get to collect those dominoes. So you know that my number 11 is greater than eight. So I have to say that, I have to say that word greater than um, in order to collect the dominoes. So we're trying to see who collects the most dominoes. So I said that 11 was greater than eight. So I get to collect. So this is gonna be my side, okay? All right, this is my pick, here we go. Oh my goodness, I got six plus six. Oh, I know that's a double six plus six is 12. Okay. Let's pretend that this is your pick, even though you're not here with me. All right. You know your number. Okay. All right. I'm going to say that 12 is greater than six. So Mrs. Myers collects these ones. Okay. All right. Here's my pick. Oh gosh, I got two. Let's see what you guys get today. All right, you have eight, right? Now you're not here to tell me. So what would you be saying right now? You practice. Say this number is greater than two. Good, okay, so I'll say it too. Eight is greater than two. And you would then claim these dominoes. Okay, let's do one more to practice. And then I wanna show you some other ways that you can play this once you have done this a couple of times. Here's mine. And I know two plus two is four. Okay, here's yours. Count yours. Good, okay. You're not here to tell me that your number is greater. So I'll let you practice. Say your number is greater than, and then say my number. Perfect. So you should have said nine is greater than four. And then you get to claim these. Now, after you've gone through the pile, boys and girls, you have to count and see who collected more dominoes. Now, we can easily tell that we're tied right now, but we're not going to keep playing just because I wanted to be able to show you how to how to play this game, okay? Now, let's say you come and you do workplaces a couple times this week and you really feel like you know how to do this and you're really mastering that word greater than. There's a couple of things that you can do, okay? Let me show you an example. One thing that you can do to add to your learning is once you and your partner have picked these two numbers, you can say um, that um, you can say six plus four is 10, three plus three is six, 10 plus six is greater, or excuse me, 
10 is greater than six. So did you see what Mrs. Myers did there? I extended onto my learning. So earlier we were just having to say 10 and six. Here I'm saying six plus four is 10. Three plus three is six. I know that 10 is greater than six. Okay, so if you're ready for that extension, you can absolutely do that to extend your learning. Okay, now if you right now we are um, playing with this set of dominoes, if you can, this is my ear's face is right here and I don't can't move it. So I'm going to go underneath of it. If you click on that third piece, these are double nine dominoes. So those numbers are going to be bigger. Okay or actually no they're going to be smaller i'm sorry so if you want to start on this one you can and until you learn those math facts and then if you want you can go to the other one or you can just flip-flop you can start with the the higher numbers and then you can click on this one and um, challenge yourself on this one okay so that's a second thing that you can do the third thing you can do is after your game with your partner you can look at these and you can order the dominoes from the least amount to the greatest amount okay and what does that mean least means the smallest and we know greatest means the biggest so let's do a couple here we have to look on both sides and i see one plus one that's pretty small right so that's a two so we could put that there and then we have to look and see um okay i think it's this one two plus two is four so we're putting them in order of their total. So we have two, we have four. Oh, I see three plus three is six. Okay. Now it gets a little trickier. So we need to do, oh, I see another, the one that equals six. Six plus zero is six. Okay. And then you would extend all the way until you've used all the tiles. Okay. So you could do least to greatest, or you could do greatest to lead us, least, so you could do biggest to smallest as well. So those are just a couple of other options that you can do um, after you've played this game a few times. We do want you to start by just playing the original way, okay? And you choose, do you wanna use blue dominoes or do you wanna choose red dominoes? And then after you've played a couple times, we would love for you to challenge yourself and extend your learning. All right, boys and girls, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.